Good morning, friends. I hope you are all doing well. It is Friday, November 8th at about 9.20 in the morning Eastern time. Uh, I wanted to jump on and do an update on a few things. A new cover, my 2025 Planner Contenders, um, and just show you a flip of some pages that I have set up. It's been a couple weeks since I posted. I've been a little bit under the weather, so I do apologize for that. But um, hopefully I'm back at it, and I uh, wanted to share some fun things with you guys. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lisa. This channel is all about planning and stationery and just fun things and girl talk. If you enjoy that kind of content, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do enjoy the videos, please give them a thumbs up. If you are returning... Thank you so much. I appreciate you very much, more than you know. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So as you can see here, if you are not new, you've never seen this before. You know this is not a normal cover of mine. Um, this is a new Aura Estelle B6 version 3 in the color Sun Kissed Blush. Um... I don't know if it's giving its true color on camera. I didn't want a baby pink. I didn't want a bright. I wanted something that was like a dusty pink that would be beautiful no matter what the season. And just soft. And if you're familiar with Aura Estelle covers, um, you know, they, they are vegan, which... Um, they're such high quality that I, you know, I just can't speak highly enough of the Aura Estelle covers. I actually have um, another Aura Estelle cover, and it's an older one. It's like a version one, I think, and this beautiful, oh, what is it? Something Apple. Um, so it doesn't have here the adjustable strap. It doesn't have the, um, the TN little tabs, you know, to create a tra uh, traveler's notebook if you wanted to, but um, I use this for a really thick, chunky stalogy, which is um, the study of the Psalms and uh, Sunday um, sermon notes, so it's it holds the chunk. Oristel is made to withstand very chunky planners, and of course, I do appreciate that. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Um, or a salad has this fabulous front pocket, which I love, maybe for even receipts or anything like that. Now what I did was I did string through two of the holes for the um, traveler's notebook. If you see up here, they include, let me take this so you can see it a little bit more clearly, remove the strings. In case you're not familiar, they include the separate string and they have it so you can you have four strings in the in this book I strung just two um, and for just a little bit more secure purposes um, I strung two and I put in this lovely odd girl um, traveler's notebook insert it has this zipper if you are not new here then you, you've seen this many times um, I will include a link to her Etsy store. She sells all kinds of sizes and things like that. Um, I think he her name is Keely, but I, I will include a link to her Etsy shop in case you're interested in any kind of traveler's notebook inserts. I think she makes these from uh, maybe some Trader Joe's bags or some kind of something like that. And it's always high quality. I have these in a few sizes. So I wanted to have that in here. Um, at least for the time being, to try it. Um, on this side in the Aura Estelle, you have these three card pockets. Then you have these two larger card or pockets, whatever you want to use them for. So a total of five front pockets. You have the secretarial pocket. I just put a little bit of cash back there. This pocket here, I have my Post-it uh, dashboard that I just slide in there. And here, incidentally, I keep some washi tape um, and just some extra stickers. I have some verse cards. Um, and here I keep some extra post-its that are just on 
um, printer paper. So if I want to pop something down with a post-it note, I can just grab one of those. Um, over here, I keep some extra large post-its, some pages off of my cloth and paper pads, and then um, some uh, verse card. So right now, you know, I'm in my Wonderland 222 2024 core planner. Um, purchased this in the middle of September. I started it as a trial just to um, see if it is, was a planner that I could see myself using. I have brand new to Wonderland 222 this year. Um, and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. The thought process that has gone into their lineup is um, it just, just checks all the boxes for me for the most part. And I've really been enjoying it. Um, so here's a, one of my Planner Perfect Tippins um, that I just kind of put on the front there. A couple more here. I generally use these for lists and notes. Um, these two, I just have some um, Bible verses on the back of them. Um, this was printed on sticker paper and it's a image from um, Kellyanne Design. So I just popped it down on there. Um, this is some more verse cards from a current Bible study uh, some of us girls are in. I'm not going to go through everything in this planner. You know, I, I, um, I have many videos now up on it. I'm at my November tracker. Here's my December tracker. And this is the first, the first month actually that I took some of my tiny washi tape and just kind of outlined it to add a little bit of color. And I did the same with this. So, um... Last week, uh, kind of ended up like this. I, I didn't fill in as much as I normally do, um, you know, but kind of like around this time frame, I got a little bit under the weather. And I actually did absolutely nothing to my weekly or any dailies for this week until yesterday. Uh, my sister and I got together at my mom's. My mom worked on her puzzle, and my sister and I worked on our planners. And I just kind of did a little bit of back planning. I did a little bit of decor because I just didn't want to leave it blank, and I still had a few more days left of the week. So I went ahead and set this up, um, you know, for the rest of the week. And then this is next week. These stickers are all from a company called Intco, I-N-T-C-O, on Etsy. Uh, the man's name is Kurt. He has some fabulous um, sticker kits for uh, the Jaboon Techo. Um, Wonder, I think he has some Wonderland. And um, I had some leftovers from maybe last year. So I used a little coffee bean washi to, to put in here and some of his cute little I lift it up a little bit. You can see those little coffee bean washies. And his little um, characters are so cute. I mean, he does some of the cutest work. And you're going to see some more of his work in the coming weeks um, from another kit that I have lots of leftovers from. So I set up this week and uh, got some things put in there for starting next Monday. Um, here's today. I did set up, uh, I did actually put on some washi tape and things for like yesterday through Sunday for this week and then next week. I didn't do anything for the the first part of this week because I just, uh, I was barely in here just documenting um, some specific things I needed to track and, uh, and then I just went ahead and jumped in. It felt so good to sit and visit and um, set up some pages for the next few days and then the coming week. I used some of my grid washi. Um, I used some of my, um, my stickers from my seasonal floral pad from Hobby Lobby. And then this starts next week. Now this, let me grab, y'all, I don't know if they have a full book of these, but at Hobby Lobby, from the paper studio, they have this little gnome sticker pack and it's seasonal. So it, it it's some of the most, the cutest stickers I have ever, I mean, they're just, 
so darn cute. And they go through the seasons. You have your spring and your summer, your Easter, um, 4th of July, fall. I use some of these, you'll see. And then a couple Christmas. I'm going to get some more of these. They were on sale last week, 40% off. So I'm going to watch for the sale to go on again. I'm going to pick up some more of these. If they have a larger pad of these gnomes, then I'm going to try to go for that. But um, you'll see these little gnomes that I put on here are just, I mean, I, I just can't. They're so cute. I just can't even take it. They're so cute. Um, I used my regular date stickers. My date stickers are my mandolin plans in the large print font here, continuing to track my meals on my dailies. And then this is Wednesday. These are more stickers from the um, seasonal floral pad from Hobby Lobby in the, is it the paper studio? I believe is is what it is. Um, and I just kind of separated this out because I'm like tracking this, some things I have to track here, logging my mood. And down here, I'm just doing a little bit of a journal blurb um, at the end of the day here at the bottom. And I just, on this spread, I just kind of separated that out. And then here is for Friday and Saturday. I used a little bit of some washi tape for my sister. She wasn't really sure where she got it, but it was very fall. A lot of the cute mushrooms and, and greenery and things like that. Um, possibly Michael's, she wasn't sure, but so I used that, added some of my grid washi, some of the little stickers from the gnomes pad and more of these little gnomes uh, stickers. And then here's for Sunday the 17th. This is more from my um, seasonal floral from Hobby Lobby. And this is, um, this is from that little gnomes book, but these two are from the seasonal floral as well. Um, I just love the way these pages turned out. Um, I love these seasonal stickers. Um, I don't, it's just so pretty. I just, I'm, I just love it. I know I'm gonna enjoy working in the pages on these days. So fun. Um, yeah, it's so nice how the Wonderland 222 has kind of these little, just slightly darker sep uh, separation lines. So if you did wanna you know, separate things that you're tracking, your to-do list, your journaling or whatever, I mean, it's just nice that it's set up that way. Not that you couldn't do that yourself, but I, I just love the um, I, I just love the thought process that has gone into this planner and uh, really been enjoying it. So um, so yeah, that's it. And again, if you're not familiar with Aura Estelle, they do have this pat patented strap system um, where it has three different slots for three different lengths and two pen loops here on the strap, which I like because when the pen loops are out farther like that and you close it, if you look there, let's see if it kind of leaves more room so your tabs aren't being really, um, you know, messed with at all from your pens. So I, I lo love that about the Aura still. I just have one of my mild liners. Right now I have my um, Coletto C four color pen in here. Changed my pen up this morning with some fresh colors. I thought at one time I used different color inks for lots of things and I kind of got away with got away from that and was using all uh, black ink. And I thought, oh, I think I want to add some more color in again. So I'm trying that. So yeah, that is my current setup in my Wonderland 222 2024-B6 um, and my new cover from Aura Estelle, which I am, I just, I just set it up this morning. It's just so pretty. I love it. Okay, next in line, you guys, my 2025 Contenders. Here we go. Um, this I purchased. This is the Sterling Ink Passport in Mist 
with the gold edging. Um, this is the pencil board that came with it. Um, my thought process for this was to pop this into a passport cover for an on-the-go. Um, just basically appointments and then use the blank pages for a grocery list. Pop it in my purse if I don't want to carry my larger planner with me. Um, that is still a possibility. I do have a clear cover for it, um, but I have other passport things that I could use that cover for if I decide not to keep this. But uh, so Sterling Ink, of course, always top quality like Wonderland. Then I have the Sterling Ink 2025 B6 Slim Horizontal Full Year Common Planner. This is the dashboard or the pencil board. And of course, if you're familiar with Sterling Ink, you know that all of her months are up front. Always beautiful. I love the changes that she made with the color of the, the font. And um, the B6 Slim is, uh, it's, it's really a fabulous size. If you love the, the week size of the Hobonichi Weeks, but you just want that little extra bit of width, the B6 Slim is a fabulous option. So again, this is the full year, so you have your enough for a day per page. Um, and, and again, your weekly, this is the horizontal. Um, I had originally purchased this uh, because I was going to use it as my devotional and prayer um, journal for 2025. Um, some of you know I used the Sterling Inks full year weeks size last year for that. But I'm considering making a change in my whole faith binder um, for 2025, so this one may be uh, up for sale. I am going to be doing a planner de-stash video for 2025 for what I'm not going to be keeping, uh, and a couple things that my sister has that she has decided, um, you know, to make a couple changes to her 2025 lineup. So watch for that de-stash video, and um, you know, whatever whatever I'm not going to be keeping, I'm going to be selling there. So here I have two Wonderland 222 B6 all in one um, in the Kermode Bear color. Uh, the only difference is one is the stacked weekends and the other is the unstacked weekends. So the difference, if, if you're unfamiliar with Wonderland 222, I'll, I'll do a, a little walkthrough in case. Um, a, they didn't come out with the unstacked weekends until last year and only in the A5. This year they added it in the B6. Um, plus you have your sidebar here. And then you have a single column for each day of the week. In the unstacked, you have wider columns, no sidebar, and your weekends are stacked. Uh, both are fabulous planners. Um, so I'm just gonna go through this planner just briefly in case you are new to uh, the full setup of the Wonderland 222. So they have the key and the index, two more index pages, which you could use like that if you wanted, if you're gonna use the back pages for bullet journaling. Um, or you could always wipe these out and use these for really anything. I mean, uh, you know, like, a, um, uh, oh, what do they call it? A goals, goals pages or, um, you know, pictures for your, maybe your bucket list for the year, things like that. Then it goes into your four year uh, overview, 2024 uh, through 2027. This is your perpetual calendar for the year. And this is your quarterly. Um, they did make some changes in the quarterly this year, but um, what I've been using this for is, on this side, I've been using it for work tasks that are uh, things I have to do on a monthly basis. And then over here, I have been tracking my YouTube channel in the quarterlies in the 2024 that I'm using. So you have all of your quarters. You have a blank notes page, and then you go into your trackers. Starting December 2024, you have 
a massive number of lines here for your trackers. Down here, some people use a graph um, system for sleep tracking, uh, or you can decorate it for the month, whatever you wanna do. It's, you know, it's um, so customizable. So that goes through, of course, December of 2025. Then you have another notes page. Then you have your December overview. And of course, it goes into your December monthly and all of the weeks that follow for the month of December and so on through the book. I love the way this is set up. I love that the weeks follow the month. Um, it's just uh, it's just so simple to me. Um, you put one monthly tab. I, I'm a tab person. I love tabs for everything. So you put a tab on your monthly page and then, you know, for every single month, you just have your tabs throughout the year and you just automatically know that there's your, there's your month and here's your weeks and, um, and then in the back, you have more than enough for a page per day through the year. If you are, if you are a monthly, weekly and daily planner, or if you're a monthly and weekly planner, but you like to journal every day, this is ideal for that. Um, so uh, I think you have, what is it, 376 pages. So you have like maybe 10, 11 extra pages besides a day per page. So let's say you are a day per page planner. Um, at the very back, you could take maybe 10 pages and use those for um, for lists for the year. Um, any kind of um, lists that you like to keep or collection lists or pen tests or anything like that, you do have those extra pages beyond the day per page, which I think is really um, just, just genius planning for the Wonderland 222 team. So, um, so yeah, I'm, um, I will be using, I'm just letting you know right now, I'm using the 2025 Wonderland 222 Unstacked All-in-One for 2025. Um, originally, I was going to go with the stacked because the width of those columns allow for Hobonichi uh, Cousin Kits pretty close, not 100%, but there's so many options for Hobonichi Cousin sticker kits. A lot of people love the sticker kits, and the stacked version is ideal for the sticker kits. Now, I'm sure there will be someone coming out, Mandy Lynn Plans, um, you know, is one for sure. She'll be coming out with sticker kits that are going to work for these planners. Um, you know, but if you like that wider column, kind of like the Hobonichi Cousin, the stacked is the way to go for you. If you don't work on the weekends, don't have a lot going on, don't need a lot of notes pages, then the stacked, you know, might be the way to go for you. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys what my decision has been for 2025. And um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting started in this planner. It does start in December with the monthly and the weeklies. Um, but not daily pages for December of 2024. So I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do just some duplication in the monthly and the weeklies and stay in my 2024 because I do have a day per page available to me in the 2024. Um, and I may just duplicate the information somewhat in here for December um, for reference purposes going into the new year. But... Um, but yeah, so um, just to give you a heads up, um, I am going to have, when I do the D stash, I'm going to have this Wonderland 222B6 stacked version. I am also going to have another one in the stacked version, but it is going to be in the Pacific Blue, which is the Dark Navy. That is going to be for sale. And then my B6 Slim Full Year Sterling Ink, I believe, is also going to be for sale. So I'm going to have at least three, possibly four, if I decide to part with my passport. Just giving you a heads up, those are going to be um, a few things that are going to be on that DCASH video. So if you think you're going to be interested in grabbing up one of these in the very near future, keep an eye, hit that bell notification so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Um... 
in case you want to grab one of these. I also wanted to show you, and pardon the noise for the plastic bag, I picked up a few fun stickers when I was at Hobby Lobby the other day and some washi tape I wanted to share with you guys. So, for the washi tape, I picked up this super cute three pack. Make sure that I'm in frame there. It's a little Santa head, the little um, gingerbread cookies, and then little candy canes. And then this one is Christmas trees, little decorated Christmas homes, and then the holly. So cute. I picked up this little sticky L. I don't know if I'll use that when I get my clear cover in or not. We'll see what happens. I picked up, um, I wanted to get some more balloon stickers and they had this, kind of turn it sideways, you can see it's a really big sheet. Um, some really cute uh, from Paper Studio balloon stickers. I picked up these fun um, monthlies, monthly stickers and I thought I might use those in my, um, in my planner, we'll see. And then I picked up these Christmas stickers of these beautiful Christmas trees. And it comes two sheets to a pack. All the Christmas stuff is 50% off. Then this one with the gifts and the stockings. So pretty. And then the snowmen. I just fell in love with these snowmen. They were so cute. Um, yeah, so I wanted to just pick up a few of those. And... Um, I just wanted to share those with you. If you guys are looking for some holiday stickers or anything like that, go check out Hobby Lobby. This stuff should be on sale again next week, I would imagine. And oh my goodness, don't forget to pick up these darling little gnomes stickers. They are so cute. Um, yeah, so you guys, thank you so much. Um, again, my apologies for missing last week filming. I hope you're doing fantastic. I hope you are excited about your 2025 plan or lineup, whatever that might be. If you have any comments, questions, anything at all, leave them in the comments below. Um, I will keep some. I will put some links on here um, for a couple of these stores that I mentioned today. So you know, just for your convenience, look in the description box for those. And I hope you have a fabulous fabulous weekend, and I'll see you very soon in the DSASH video. Bye.